using the factor theorem to factorize a cubic expression. In this question, we want to factorize or find the three linear factors of this cubic expression. We're going to use the factor theorem. We're going to use trial and error, sub in values instead of x, and see which values will give us an output of zero. When we do this, we'll find what the roots or solutions are, and when we know solutions, we know factors. Numbers to try would be factors of this constant term, factors of the plus six. So you might try, for instance, x equals one. So if we subbed in x equals one, we get two times one cubed, which is two, plus one squared, which is one, minus 13, plus six. When we sub this in value, we see that we get negative 13 plus nine. Uh, so that is an output of negative four. Negative four is not equal to zero. That's the key point. So one is not a solution. That definitely doesn't work. So we might try another one. Maybe try the number two. Two is a factor of six. So we have two times two cubed plus two squared minus 13 times two plus six. And when we sub these values in, we see it does work. Here we're getting 16 plus four minus 26 plus six, and it all adds up to zero. That tells us that we have a root. Two is a root or a solution of that given function. And if we know a root, we know one of the factors because if x equals two is a root, well, the related factor to this is x minus two. Now that we found one of the factors, we could divide our cubic function by this factor and it should go in evenly. We should end up with a quadratic factor that relates to this. So I'm going to use the array method to do this. We know where to place the 2x cubed and the 6. x goes into 2x cubed, 2x squared times. Negative 2 goes into 6, negative 3 times. Uh, we multiply out some of the missing terms. So x by negative 3 is negative 3x. The x terms must add up to negative 13x. So I need a negative 10x to add to the negative 3 to add up to that. Then I divide that term by negative 2, giving plus 5x. I have my quadratic factor. I might multiply out the last two parts just to see it works. So x by 5x is 5x squared. Negative 2 by 2x squared is negative 4x squared. And this adds up to 1x squared, which is what I wanted to add up with. So we know we're correct. So what I can now say is our function can be expressed as x minus 2 times this quadratic factor, 2x squared plus 5x minus 3. However, I want to factorize the quadratic as well. I want the three linear factors. Again, I'm going to use the array method to do this. So looking at the quadratic, I know where to place the 2x squared and the negative 3. I know if I multiply these two terms, I get negative 6x squared. I want the x's to add up to, to 5x. The factors of negative 6x squared that add to 5x will be 6x and negative 1x. I place these back into the array. I get a common factor along the top line, which is 2x. 2x by x is 2x squared. 2x by plus 3 is 6x. And x divides into negative 1x, negative 1 times. And I see it works with the 3 as well. So now we have all our factors. We have x minus 2 and the two new factors, x plus 3 and 2x minus 1. It might be worth saying that a calculator is very helpful with this problem. It might even find all of these uh, factors or solutions. We could use the table function in the calculator to input this particular function. Then I'm going to choose a starting value of negative 6 and a finishing value of 6. So this is a range. This should be uh, large enough based on the constant term of the cubic. I'm going up in steps of a half because it's a 2x cubed. So a half is going to be the steps. I'm looking for values here, input values, that give an output of zero. So they would be solutions. I see negative three is a solution. I see 0.5 or a half is a solution. And I see two is a solution. So we have three solutions, two, a half, and negative three. So I see the calculator is very useful to both check the solutions the factors. Also, it could have been used in the first part of this question to get rid of the guesswork because I could guess a whole pile of numbers all at once. Um, however, it's worth saying if some of the solutions are imaginary, the calculator won't find those solutions.